Femi Adeshino. I heard you on channels telling Nigerians that we should be grateful that the killings have reduced. You were telling Nigerians on the day that two bombings had gone off in Borno State, killing a 12-year-old, that we should be grateful and thankful. I don't know what killings is it that you said have reduced. I don't know with all the killings going on in Nigeria every day. You seem not to see it. Let me tell you something and pass this on to your principal. That we were, we voted for change in 2015. We were not voting for comparison of the killings. We were voting for insecurity to be tackled and an end to it to be brought to our nation. Not for insecurity to be spread all over Nigeria. Today, no part of Nigeria is secured. From bandits to kidnappers to killer headsmen to Boko Haram, they are all attacking Nigerians and Nigerians are dying every day. Let me tell you something semi-additional. In 2015, Nigeria was not the world poverty capital of the world. In 2015, Leah Sharibu was with her parents growing up and aspiring to be great in this nation. Today, Leah Sharibu has been left with terrorists. In 2015, Saifura was not executed after 30 days warning to government and government did nothing. In 2015, her wealthy man had not been executed after another 30 day warning to government and government did nothing. In 2015, Khan Lida was not taken away, candidate of Michika taken away and beheaded. In 2015, a young man traveling from Josh to Medugri was not taken away and executed by Boko Haram. In 2015, Kaduna Abuja Road was not being controlled by bandits to the extent that travelers no longer want to use that road. The Zaria Kaduna Road were not controlled by bandits and an emir on his way with his entourage were attacked. Tell your principal that he should put a stop to this insecurity. We didn't vote to hear excuses. We voted for the right thing to be done.